Hi, everybody. Great to see you all. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm Maria Bartiromo, and I am serving as your moderator this evening and your MC. I am thrilled to be with you to celebrate the five-year anniversary of the American Action Forum. Congratulations, AAF. I'm here tonight because Doug Holtz Aiken is a friend of mine and a regular guest on my program on the Fox Business Network and the Fox News Channel. And every time there is a policy decision or a lack of, I turn to Doug to ask him to uh, explain it all to our audience and make sense of it. And so, Doug, thank you so much for your time and for your uh, fantastic education that you've given me over the years. The American Action Forum was started five years ago in the midst of the debate over the Affordable Care Act. So you can imagine how much work Doug and his colleagues had, have had uh, over the last five years. And with crucial assistance and leadership from uh, Fred Malik and Senator Norm Coleman, Doug started AAF as an action tank that would fill a rapid response, data-driven, economic policy-oriented research niche. And that is exactly what he works on and the group works on all day long, every day, to, uh, to ensure that there is, an, in fact, good understanding of the impact of policy decisions. From a reporter's uh, angle, I have to say that uh, it's really imperative to have that kind of communication and understanding of how important decisions in Washington impact the livelihoods of so many people. Twelve distinct policy areas at the AAF, it's grown considerably over the last five years, testifies regularly before Congress on a variety of topics, and has just this year expanded into the defense analysis area. So congrats on that. Obviously an area uh, that is uh, very, very much ripe with needs for understanding. I've got the pleasure tonight of welcoming you. We have a wonderful program. We will hear from Speaker Boehner momentarily, as well as Dr. Krathammer, and I'm looking forward to both of, uh, of those gentlemen uh, speaking. But first, we want to tell you a little about AAF, and I have the pleasure of introducing you uh, and introducing Fred Malik to the stage. A recently launched forum speaker series, the Fred Malik Lecture Series, features conservative leaders from across the country, and it bears his name. Fred's long resume includes success with the Army Rangers, the hotel industry, professional baseball, airline management, politics and government. He knows a great deal about the advantages of using the best information available to act quickly and decisively and has contributed this can-do attitude to his involvement at the American Action Forum. Please welcome to the, to the stage Fred Malik. Aren't you all glad that Maria moved over to Fox? <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, that, that Sunday program is so fast paced, it has so many good guests, it covers so much policy and economics. It is, it is the best Sunday show on TV. Thank you for being there. <laughs> um, you know, about six years ago, I had uh, had the the honor of serving as finance chairman for John McCain's presidential campaign uh, during the final five, six months of it. And uh, while we're still hoping that we get a recount, we <laughs> at the time we did, we did have to humiliatingly suffer uh, the defeat that we did. And after the defeat, it became clear to me that we needed something in Washington to bring people together. We needed a, an organization that would bring people from Olympia Snow, I don't know if she's still here or not, she was at the reception, are you still here Olympia? Uh, who was on the moderate end to a Jim DeMint on the right, we could bring them all together with a common set of policies that all of the center right in the nation could agree upon and could embrace, and we could be speaking with a more common voice that would attract more and, and broaden the reach of the Republican Party. That was our mission. Um, and it was a great idea, which sort of foundered for about three or four months, until I convinced Norm Coleman to come on board with me as my partner and become the first president of both the forum and the network, and to kind of provide the leadership that was needed. Uh, Norm, of course, had uh, 
been in a Senate race and going through an endless series of recounts and, and an endless series of, uh, uh, I guess, court, court recounts and things of that sort. And unfortunately, it didn't work out the way all of us wanted to, but we got the consolation prize and it was a great one to get Norm's leadership. Very soon thereafter, we linked up with Doug Holseekin. And what a blessing that was. Doug is, I think, the best policy mind in the city of Washington. Maybe the best. <laughs> and what I'm proudest of is the progress that's been made, is how much he's done and his team have done, and how much they have done with really not a lot of financial backing. They clearly are an organization, we are clearly an organization that fight way, way, way above our weight. And, and I'm so proud to be associated with, with Doug and this wonderful team. And I'd like to hear applause, not just for Doug, but for every staff member who's here from the American Action Forum.